everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. If you're watching this video, that means you are the lucky recipient of a Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. Now, everybody got tote bags this time, but not everybody got the same animal or the same way to put that animal on their bag. If you're watching this video, then that means that you picked stamping as the way to get your animal onto your bag. Let's take a look, see what you got in your box and how to use it. All right, if you picked stamping for your tote bag, you are going to get equipment like this. You will get a stamp. Um, this one is of the narwhal. You can see it's got a nice thick ledge. You're going to have your foam brush with a chisel tip. And I've given you three colors of paint. Um, and the white I have given you so that you can add it to one of the other ones to make a different color uh, uh, by combining it with one of the, of the darker colors. But really, it's up to you how you want to do this. Step number one is always put your newspaper inside your bag to make sure that whatever paint or ink you are using is not going to seep through and stain the opposite side of the bag. This way you only get paint right where you want it, right where you intend for it to go on that front side. So for this one, I'm going to actually use uh, my narwhal stamp and I'm going to do three different stamps and the first one is going to be gold. So you'll take your, your foam brush, you will put it in the paint, and then you are going to dab it onto your stamp. And you want it to be dark enough that you're not really seeing any of the foam that's underneath that stamp. But you don't want it to be so much that it um, will squelch out in all different directions. So that tail part has more, more paint than I want on it right now, but the rest of it is looking pretty good. So I'm going to keep dabbing that paint on until I'm happy with about how much of it is on there. That's looking pretty good. And you can get creative with this. I'm going to do mine in a diagonal pattern going up the bag. You can do uh, one in the corners. You can do a circle, you can do whatever you want. You can use all the same color. You can try using multiple colors on a single stamp. It's really up to you. We're just giving you the supplies. When you're ready to stamp, you're going to turn it face down. I'm gonna start in this bottom corner and go diagonally up. I'm gonna lay it very gently in place and then I'm gonna use my palm and my fingertips to kind of press and feel where it's supposed to hit the bag and make sure that I'm pushing all of those places so the paint is evenly stamped onto the bag. And then you just pull it straight up and you will have your first stamp. So for my second stamp, I'm going to use um, the non-metallic color. In this case, it's kind of a teal, and I'm going to just do the same thing. Dab that paint on until it's pretty uniform in coverage, enough that you'll get the color on the bag, not too much that it'll squelch all out. Figure out where you want it to go on that bag, lay it gently in place, and then use the palm of your hand and your fingers to press down. Don't slide up. You don't want the stamp to move. You want it to stay right in that place. And then when you're done, lift straight up. Ta-da! And then, like I said, if you want to, you can use the white paint um, to combine with one of the darker colors to make a third color or you can just do a stamp in that in one of the other colors. It's totally up to you. Um, and I'm not adding enough white to this to get it as light as I want, so I'm gonna add more. And then you're gonna follow that same step of painting onto your stamp and then pressing down. I'm gonna add a little bit more white, I'd like it to definitely be a third color. I think that'll do. Okay. So just go ahead and paint it onto your stamp. And 
make sure that it's, you know, got the paint all around so you're getting only the new color, none of the old colors, but not too much that it's going to squelch out in a pattern that you don't want it to have. And I know some of these are not natural colors. Obviously, gold is not a color that narwhals come in um, or any of these animals. I just thought it would be fun to have a metallic, a dark color, and then give you the opportunity to have a lighter color. So my final print, pressing down, pressing down, making sure all the way to the corners of my stamp are being pressed. And then I'm going to go ahead and lift that up. Ta-da! And like I said, you can stamp wherever you want, however many you want, in whatever color you want. But that is how we do the stamped tote bag. Thank you for following along, guys. I hope you enjoyed this month's Trash Panda Treasure Boxes. You've got all the information to sign up for next month. Also want to take this opportunity to remind you of two things we got going on in the teen section this summer. Every week we have a new prize drawing. It doesn't matter whether you have entered in the weeks previous or not, and all we want you to do is fill out a bookmark. And on that bookmark, you'll just say, if you've read for 30 minutes each day that week, you can text it to us, you can drop it off in the drive-thru, you can bring it to any one of the desks, and as long as you do it before we close on Saturday, you'll be entered in that week's prize basket drawing. So if you are doing some reading, listening to audiobooks, reading graphic novels, any of those things, you might want to try to get involved with that. Number two, we still have the scavenger hunt going on upstairs, so if you haven't followed all the clues to get the prize and unlock the safe, you might want to try it. It doesn't take too long, not a bad way to spend an afternoon. Again, thank you for following along. I hope to see you guys next month for another Trash Panda Treasure Box. Bye!